Listen, I don't want you to needlessly spend a bunch of money on a fountain pen because you imagine a more expensive pen is always better. I don't want you to feel that fountain pens are like ticking ink bombs and require constant maintenance like an incontinent puppy. And I don't want you to feel like you're better off getting the latest newfangled productivity slash stress relieving gadget to accomplish the simple tasks that a good old fashioned pen can do. Welcome friends to the first installment of Goldspot's beginner series on fine writing pens. My name is Tom Otto and it is my pleasure to be your guide. I'm going to demystify the fountain pen by telling you in plain English what they're all about and why people prefer using them over their own smartphones. Chances are, if you've stumbled across this video, you might have seen a fountain pen on the interwebs. Maybe a calligrapher, illustrator, or artist was showing their analog writing skills in a video. If you're lucky enough, maybe you saw one in real life and it piqued your interest enough to seek out more information. What is a fountain pen? Contrary to how the name sounds, a fountain pen does not expel pools of ink wherever it goes. Back when our ancestors used quill feathers and dip nib pens, people were limited to writing at their desk with a pot of ink close at hand, dipping frequently after every few words. Could you imagine needing to recharge your phone every time you sent a text message? That's what writers used to do back in the day. Fountain pens were invented to hold a supply of ink inside the pen, providing an uninterrupted flow. Instead of a few words at a time, a writer could write pages with a fountain pen before needing a refill. The magic process at work is capillary action, taking ink from the inner reservoir and feeding it to the tip of the nib. A well-designed nib and feed provide ample ink flow for writing while preventing the pen from leaking. In the 1960s, the ballpoint pen was invented, followed by the typewriter, word processor, home computer, and more recently, mobile technology. These technological developments should have rendered the fountain pen useless right? Far from it. One would think that the 21st century would have seen the end of the fountain pen, like the 19th century brought the end of the quill feather pen. On the contrary, worldwide fountain pen sales are on the rise, a trend that, ironically, is partly due to an active online community consisting of pen enthusiasts, collectors, and creatives that share the passion for pens on social media. It is this exposure and easy access to knowledge that helps our current generation reconnect with writing in a way they may not experience in their everyday walks of life. So you might be saying to yourself, why are people fascinated with using fountain pens? Number one, they aren't meant to be disposed of. When it comes to pens, most people settle on using whatever free pens they get from a bank, the cheap kind that get thrown away once the ink runs out. Most quality pens are built to last a lifetime, if not longer. Number two, they provide a personal touch. Think of all the emails and texts you read every day, sterile of emotion and personality. A fountain pen communicates a lot more about a person than the words that are on the page. The variety of nib sizes and vast selection of ink colors provide the writer with an unmatched level of individual written expression. Want to write with a calligraphic flair in a color that matches your favorite pair of shoes? A fountain pen can do that. Number three, they are a status item, like it or not. A person writing with a fountain pen today makes a statement and draws attention in public. It's much more common for someone to pull out an $800 phone from their pocket to send a text than it is to pull an $800 fountain pen to jot down some notes. Much like a nice watch, showing off a nice pen gets attention from onlookers. That being said, not all fountain pens are expensive status symbols of the bourgeois class. In fact, part of their recent resurgence is attributed to the development of excellent starter pen options that are affordable, nice to write with, and durable. Want a great first time experience with a fountain pen? Like I mentioned, you won't have to shell out a car payment just to get started. You can get writing for under $40 with the following pens. The Pilot Metropolitan, Lamy Safari, Faber-Castell Loom, Platinum Preppy, Pelican Pelicano, Pilot Kakuno, 
and the Kaveco Sport, to name a few. Your first time doesn't need to be expensive, nor messy. One of the big misconceptions people have about fountain pens is that they are spill disasters waiting to happen, primed to ruin every piece of clothing you own, as well as any carpet or rug in your home. Don't get me wrong, I'll occasionally have inky fingers from filling or cleaning a pen, but it has never caused a widespread disaster of my wardrobe. Most fountain pens are easier to fill than an inkjet printer. The easiest method is using an ink cartridge. Maintenance shouldn't be much of a concern either. If you can manage to brush your teeth, take a shower, and keep a cactus alive, you can maintain a fountain pen. Most fountain pens use cartridge converter filling systems, which are the least fussy to clean. Using a disposable ink cartridge is a simple plug and play method to get your pen writing. Once the cartridge is spent, you could take it out and toss it, rinsing the nib and feed under cool running tap water. Let the nib air dry and blot it with a cloth. Then you're golden to ink the pen again or put it away for safekeeping. Is that so hard? If you keep your pen clean between inkings, don't drop it on the floor nib first or loan it to a klepto of a coworker. You can have a writing instrument that will last you for life. If issues do arise in the future, most reputable pen manufacturers like Pilot, Pelican, Waterman, Parker, Sailor, and so on, uphold mechanical warranties should your pen stop functioning for any reason. Also, there are pen repair specialists and nibmeisters that make a respectable living repairing, customizing, and restoring fountain pens. So, even in the event that your pen takes a swan dive off the desk, resulting in a car wreck of a nib, you would be able to find someone to repair it and get it working again. Let's talk lifetime value. If you spend $50 on a pen that will last you 20 years, which most last much longer than that, your lifetime cost on that pen is $2.50 per year. Buying the latest tech gadget may only get you two years before it is either broken, worn out, or obsolete. By the time you are finished paying for your current $800 smartphone, you may already be in need of purchasing another one. How does spending $400 a year on a rapidly depreciating piece of distracting mobile technology sound? Not that great. Believe it or not, some pens actually pay to buy them. Limited editions are a prime example. If they are well taken care of, you may end up breaking even or coming out ahead if you decide to sell it after a few years. For those who follow us and are self-professed fountain pen addicts, we love you. Share your reasons why you enjoy writing with them in the comments below. If you're still hesitant or think fountain pens are still not for you, we'd also like to hear from you as well. What's holding you back? Just don't be a troll. Fountain pen enthusiasts are an intelligent, kind group of people that will ignore your attempts to bait them. Maybe it's because we tend to keep our thoughts confined to journal pages rather than littering discussion threads with inflammatory nonsense. Just the theory. Stay tuned for the next segment in our beginner series on writing instruments by subscribing to our Goldspot Pens YouTube channel. You can follow us on all the socials at Goldspot Pens. Have a great day and stay inky, my friends. Take care. Oh,